Oh. Oh, it stings because of the betrayal. Welcome back. Once again, Vice and the Assassin's Alliance are facing off against each other. Only this time, it's a little bit different. I call this game Bank Job. It starts as an attack and defend, with the attacker starting in the SWAT van with three lives and the defenders starting in the bank with no respawns. Now, when the defenders get shot, instead of leaving the field, it's a little bit different. They will head into the jail and they're going to wait there until the attackers call jailbreak. The attacker's objective is to head into the bank and steal some jewels within the bank. Once they have those jewels, they're going to yell jailbreak. Both teams now have no respawns remaining. All the defenders that are waiting within the jail can come out and everyone has full field. That means they can go anywhere on the field at this point. The attacker's objective is now to take those jewels that they have grabbed and take it to the far corner of the field where they're going to try and escape. So it's sort of a balance. As the attackers, you have to decide, are you going to kill everybody within the bank and make your job of grabbing those jewels really easy, but then make your job of escaping much harder? Or are you gonna be really sneaky, having a much harder time grabbing those jewels, but probably having a harder time escaping? For this game, Vice is going to start out attacking for the first round and then switch around with the assassins, and then we're going to defend. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> A direct frontal assault would be ineffective against the bank, so we've all spread out to take various positions around the field. If we can thin out the defenders in the bank, we can make our way inside more easily. One down. Rancid, I got two on the top. Three on the top floor. Ah, uh, come on, you keep peeking me. In addition to trying to shoot anyone I can see, I'm calling out whoever I can spot so my teammates can move around more informed. Roll out to top floor. I've spotted Foxtrot moving up behind the down plane towards the bank. Sorry, I thought I heard him <laughs> making noises. Got one on the top floor still. He's just doing it so fast, it's so dumb. Fuck, that thing battery just doesn't last. I'm not hitting the last target who's on the second floor, and it sounds like enough of the defenders have been cleared from the bank for us to move in. So I make my way downstairs to join my teammates. Zach, we got a guy on the top floor still. We've cleared the bottom of the bank. It's time to grab the jewels and make our way out of there. Got a guy up there, Rollo. Wait, we all here? We got a guy upstairs. Two of you get on the other side. One of us is going to pass it to them and hold on, okay? Okay. In case you didn't hear that, Rancid's plan is to have someone in the main lobby of the bank. He's going to grab the loot and toss it to the person in the lobby who will make a break for the other side of the field. Is he out? Right. Call it, call it, you called it.
Watch on your left, on your left. Down that hallway on the left. Game over! That's game over. Rancid's last minute plan of grabbing the jewels and rushing to the end was a success. Now it's time to switch around and see what happens when we're defending. Okay, game starts in three, two, one, go, go, go! Right off the start, Rancid gets taken out from the down plane. Since people are coming from there, I'm going to take his spot. He's going to head towards the far corner of the jail and wait for jailbreak to be called. We suspect the assassins will try the same plan we had, and he's going to meet them when they finally rush in. How you doing? Jailbreak! Jailbreak! The assassins were incredibly sneaky and got into the bank with only eliminating two or three from our team. Let's hope Rancid is able to stop them. They got it! Jailbreak! I think he's got it. Hello! Nobody has called game over, so the jewels must have been stopped. I'm wasting my time here trading shots, so I'm going to make my way out of the bank. You can't hit shit! I left just in time. The assassins were coming in to clear out the bank. Luckily, I was able to run away without getting hit. Where is it? Oh shit. And it looks like we stopped the jewels a few meters away from the end goal. Watch it! We pivoted from defending the bank to defending the exit. But without any response for either team, we're going to play it a lot more aggressively. Many of the assassins have been taken out, and most of our team is still alive. It's time to sweep and clear the field. Go upstairs. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna... I know, I'm gonna go up, all right? Take that one, I'll take this. No, he's not. You hit me, not the other guy. <laughs> this is the last remaining enemy on the field. He has the advantage on the top floor, but I'm listening to his movement to try and pinpoint where he is.
Holy shit. In your hand. Fuck, that scared the shit out of me, man. I'm trying to check you. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Now, although I did show these two games where Vice won, the day was really even, and Assassins won just as many games as Vice won. Unfortunately, I got shout out really early in those games. Doesn't make for great video. I'd like to thank my Patreons this month. This month, uh, my super supporters are Toxic PB, Kyle Macy, and Whiskey24. You can see the full list of supporters here, and if you'd like to support me on the show, visit me on Patreon. I'd also like to thank Owen Pollock, who was the photographer who made this amazing thumbnail for this video and the videographer that followed me around and got all that really cool third person footage that you saw. Make sure you check out his channel. I should have a link somewhere around here as well so you can check that out. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe and that bell, all that cool YouTube stuff that people always talk about, all that shit. Merry Christmas and uh, see you next year. Peace.